Let's take a look at finding the derivative of sine cubed of 4x. We're going to use the chain rule twice. Uh, hopefully this is easy to follow and understand. And please be sure to watch at the end so that you can learn how to apply this to your own questions of a similar type. First, it helps if you write this for yourself as sine of 4x. Now, why does this help? Because this indicates something very important. The red part is the inside, and the cubing part there is the outside function that tells you how to use a chain rule, a really key step, okay? There you go. So imagine how great you will feel if you watch this to the end, right? Internalize all the steps. Now, how do I know that I should do this? Because I've studied a lot, so I do have some book references down below in the description. You'll probably want to check that out. So by the power, you bring it to be done, and then you copy the inside, which is sine of 4x. And then here you got to do 3 minus 1, but then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of sine of 4x, you see? Again, how do I know I should do any of this? Because I've studied a lot. So I'm going to have 3 and then sine of 4x raised to the second. Now the derivative of that part. So here you got to use a chain rule again. Now how do I know that? Because here is sine, for example, that green one is one function, and then 4x is a separate function. So i got to use a chain rule again. So that one looks like this. You're going to do the derivative of sine x. I'll put that within parentheses, which is cosine. You copy the inside, but then again, you got to set up the multiplication by the derivative of the inside again, you see? So chain rule twice. Then you're going to have 3. For now, I'll write it this way. Sine of 4x squared. Then you copy your cosine of 4x, the derivative of 4x is just 4. By convention, this two I've just highlighted in red always gets placed in this position where my cursor is. So you end up with the following then. 3 sine squared of 4x, cosine of 4x, and you copy the 4. Lastly, you multiply the coefficients together. So 3 times 4 here is 12 sine squared of 4x, and then cosine of 4x. So I hope you've watched all the way to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share for those who might be going through something similar with you.